Hello, good afternoon. It is a cold and snowy day where I live. So I thought I would take advantage of the snow and the temperature and uh, talk about some new idioms today. First one, so if it's uh, snowy, it has to be cold and it's probably freezing. So the first expression is when hell freezes over. So think about that one. You know, hell is known as being hot, so it will probably never freeze. So we use this phrase to say that something will never happen. My example. So, uh, Andrea, when will you be the Prime Minister of Great Britain? Well, I'll be the Prime Minister when hell freezes over, so it's never going to happen. Uh, I've got two using snow. A snowbird. Yes, of course, birds are animals. In this case, a snowbird is a person. So a snowbird is someone who, let's say, moves to a warmer area in the winter. This could be a North American expression. I'm not entirely sure. But there are a lot of snowbirds in the United States. They live in, let's say, Ohio, Michigan, Pennsylvania. Uh, but in the winter months, they've maybe moved to Florida, so they're snowbirds. And the second one and last idiom for the day, snowball. Snowball, as you know it, is a noun, but in this case, uh, this is a verb, so to snowball. So when something snowballs, it gets bigger, because when you have to make a snowball, you have to add to it. So when something snowballs, it's getting bigger in a bad or negative way. So something maybe starts as a small problem and it slowly grows and grows into a bigger problem. I'll use conspiracy theories as an example. Um, conspiracy theories can snowball into something really dangerous and scary. A good example, um, if you watch the news, what happened in Washington DC on the 6th of January those conspiracy theories really snowballed into those events at the Capitol. All right, I hope that helps and hope you enjoy learning English and studying English. That's all for today. Okay, bye-bye.